My 1993 2.3 liter Mustang autocross project is all about building a light, nimble car to attack the cones. But when I put Apocalypso on the scales, I got a rude awakening. My Little Pony weighs 2,894 pounds. Published weights for four-cylinder 1993 Mustangs average 2,750 pounds. Based on the options, with an eighth of a tank of gas, and the few upgrades it has, I expected this car to weigh 2,800 pounds. So I'm starting out almost 100 pounds heavier than I thought. To make matters worse, the weight distribution is 57.2% to 42.8% front to rear. My four banger is bloated and not very well balanced. I haven't chosen an SCCA category to run in yet. That decision will be based on how light I can get this Fox body. And because this is a long-term project, rules regarding minimum weight can change while I'm building the car. My first option will be Cam S, running the car at a minimum weight of 2,500 pounds. Luckily, the rules for categories that allow for even lower minimum weights are similar to the Cam S rules. I'm nearly 400 pounds over the Cam S minimum weight and the mods I plan on making to this car are going to add weight. My goal is to try to get 500 pounds out of this car. Lightweight parts can be really expensive, so the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the weight that's free or inexpensive to remove. In this video, I'll be stripping out the interior of anything that won't be going back into the car and weighing some OEM parts that can be replaced with lighter alternatives. If you've watched my other weight reduction videos, you've seen me break my Mustangs down into three zones. Zone 1 is from the firewall to the front bumper. Zone 2 is between the firewall and the rear axle. Zone 3 is from the rear axle to the rear bumper. I'll be removing weight from this car over the course of several months. So I'll be moving around from zone to zone, but I'll keep a tally of the weight reduction in each zone and provide an update in every video. All of the parts were weighed on a digital bathroom scale or a digital kitchen scale. I weighed every part three times, and if there was any variance, I used the average. Scale calibrations can differ, so you might not get the same exact numbers I did. When you're stripping out the interior, a set of interior trim removal tools will help with clips and push pins, and a T50 Torx is needed to remove the seat belts. Being organized is key, so you'll also want to have storage bags, tags, index cards, and a marker. You'll also need a Ford radio removal tool to get the factory head unit out. Let's start by removing weight from Zone 3. The hatch area light weighs 0.09 pounds. The retractable sunshade weighs 4.8 pounds. The sunroof case weighs 1.8 pounds. The strap that holds the sunroof case in place weighs 0.41 pounds. The hatch area carpet weighs 3.7 pounds. The jute under the carpet weighs 12.8 pounds. The lug wrench weighs 1.8 pounds, the jack weighs 5.4 pounds, the spare tire weighs 29.5 pounds, the plastic trim under the hatch weighs 1.9 pounds. Altogether, those parts weigh 62.2 pounds. That's all free weight reduction and none of it is going back into the car. Let's see how many pounds can be removed from zone 2. Deleting the rear seat is another easy way to reduce weight. Some classes do require the seat bottom area to be finished. I'll cover making a light and inexpensive rear seat delete in a future video. But for now, I'm going to strip out everything associated with the rear seat. The rear seat bottom weighs 9.9 .9 pounds. 
The rear seat belt latches weigh 0.81 pounds. The two rear seat bottom brackets together weigh 4.4 pounds. The two rear seat backs weigh 18 pounds. The rear seat back hinge assembly weighs 7.1 pounds. The jute and mats under the rear seat bottom weigh 5.4 pounds. The center bracket and spacers for the rear seat backs weigh 0.5 pounds. The two side brackets for the rear seat backs weigh 1.5 pounds. The silver circles weigh 0.04 pounds. All of these parts add up to 47.65 pounds. Once you have the rear seat out, you can shed a few pounds by removing the unnecessary items behind the sail panels. There are two pieces of jute behind each sail panel. All four pieces weigh 4.3 pounds. Together, the rear seat belt shoulder straps weigh 4.3 pounds. While I'm in here, I'm going to remove the rear speakers. Together, they weigh 2.8 pounds. There's 11.4 pounds of free weight reduction behind the sail panels. I'm going to delete the radio in this car, and I need to remove the head unit before I can get the center console out. The radio head unit weighs 4.1 pounds, but I will have to install a radio delete panel that weighs 0.27 pounds. I got this one from late model restoration. I also removed the dash speakers. Together, they weigh 0.97 pounds. The two door speakers weigh 3.5 pounds. There's an amplifier for the premium sound system under the passenger seat and an additional wiring harness. Together, they weigh 2.9 pounds. And because I have to remove the plastic trim panel under the steering wheel to remove the center console, I'm removing the piece of metal behind it that weighs 2.5 pounds. The antenna is obviously not in the interior, but I'm removing it now to complete the radio delete. The antenna is right on the line between Zone 1 and Zone 2. I've always considered it to be in Zone 1. The antenna, antenna wire, and antenna base weigh 0.58 pounds. I installed an antenna delete plate from 50 Resto that weighs 0 0.023 pounds. Those items add up to 14.26 pounds. So far, I've removed 135.5 pounds from the car, 62.2 pounds from zone 3, 72.75 pounds from zone 2, and 0.56 pounds from zone 1. Some SCCA categories allow for OEM interior parts to be swapped for lighter versions. I'll have some opportunities to shed weight depending on the category I choose. I want to know how much the OEM parts weigh so I can get a better sense of how light I can actually get the car. The driver's seat, bracket, and extended seat track weigh 42.2 pounds. The passenger seat and bracket weigh 37.1 pounds. The center console with everything except the radio weighs 14.3 pounds. The carpet weighs 24.5 pounds. In Cam S, I can remove the carpet entirely as long as the floor pan has a finished appearance, but I might opt to use a lightweight carpet instead. The OEM armrests weigh 1.8 pounds each. The OEM door panels weigh 7.1 pounds each. That adds up to 135.9 pounds of parts that can be swapped for lighter alternatives. It took me a total of five and a half hours to strip out all the parts in this video. There's a lot of weight hiding in the interior of a Fox Body Mustang. This is a great first step in my weight loss strategy but I'm a long way from my goal of getting 500 pounds out of Apocalypso. The next video in this series will cover more weight reduction mods.